This is Chino with Chino University and I'm reviewing this 1080p digital wireless backup camera system for RV, truck, trailer, van, or bus. Featuring a 7 inch HD LCD monitor and two IP69 waterproof cameras. I just recently installed this system in my two 53 foot dry van trailers and I love it. When I first installed the system, it did not have a consistent strong signal to the backup camera. After experimenting with different installations, I finally have a strong signal consistently. I'm going to review this camera system and give you installation tips on the best possible install. So let's get it. This is the monitor mounted in my truck and this is the backup camera. Notice the strong signal and the clear picture. It's really nice to be able to see behind you because you can hit somebody and you don't want that. Here we see the camera inside of the trailer, keeping an eye on the loaders. It's good to have it because you never know what them guys are doing back there. And if they damage your trailer, you can get it on camera. Next we have the split view of the monitor of both cameras, which also is a nice feature. Next we have the backup camera mounted on the back of the bumper. I just used two bolts and that's all I did. Make sure it's recessed in the bumper so that when you back up, you don't hit the camera. Here's the wiring behind the camera. Notice I have two wires on the left and right. Those are the antenna extenders. The wire in the middle is the power and I tapped off of the license plate light. This means that you have to have the lights on in order for the cameras to work for both cameras. Now you'll notice the two wires on each side, those are the camera extender wires. Don't worry, I will have a list of all the parts you need and links in the description so that you can get these parts from Amazon. This is the antenna on the left side sticking out and there's a close-up view of it. Notice I uh, wire tied it to the side of the hook so it would be out of the way. This is a back view of how it looks underneath the trailer. You can easily run the wiring along the existing wireway for the trailer. This is the other antenna on the right side you really need to have antennas sticking out on both sides of the trailer in order to get a strong consistent signal. It was only when I installed the second antenna when I was able to achieve this. Here is the second camera mounted inside the trailer. I mounted it on a separate piece of plywood in a 4x4x4 four by four by four inch PVC electrical box. You can get this electrical box at Home Depot if you can find it. I also installed two uh, five inch L brackets underneath it to protect it as well. Sometimes they load the freight double stacked and they will hit it. So if they do, then it's well protected. I had to modify it, but I have the antenna sticking out and it gets this good strong signal all the time. Thank you for watching the review. If you go to the link in the description, you can view one to four camera systems on Amazon. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. And as always, have a great trucking day.